Hi. It is you, isn't it? I'll get dinner. Gladys. Pete, why are you so suspicious? I've been a cad. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, oh, nothing. Nothing at all, no. You've been screaming? You need help? Really, I, I don't need any help. You need help? What do I need help for? Only this morning. You said... What's a little cooking, dishwashing, bed making? <laughs> I mean, if a housewife complains about a little cooking, vacuuming, dusting, shopping, sewing, washing, ironing, taking care of the bed, making you know, I didn't have a chance to tidy up the room. <laughs> You know, casseroles can be a problem when you have to make a complicated sauce to go with them. When you buy gasoline, don't make the octane mistake. That's all there is to it. No bother, no fuss. Any way you use it, every time you use it, let the mobile living engine show you a better way to buy good health for your family in Carnation gasoline. Use a free recipe for Carnation's new gasoline sees it from the inside. The evaporated milk with extra vitamin D. But now comes mobile with the mega delicious chicken and chips one system which measures 21 of your motor's needs. Build strong, sturdy bodies, not just octane, but 21 of your motor's needs. But with Carnation evaporated milk, while no gasoline has a perfect megatane rating of 21, creamy smooth Carnation over the higher the megatane rating, the better your motor will run. Casserole mixings garnish with cling peaches probably won't notice the difference at first but your car will run some sound teeth 5 10 20 stronger keep younger last long send it to casserole box 666 hollywood california get details of the megatane system Me? what's the matter well, don't just stand there can't you see i'm stuck well, how did that happen <laughs> What do I mean? Am I stuck? I'm stuck! That's what I mean. All right, wait a minute. No! Not... That wasn't so bad. Carnation chicken and chips one-step casserole. What? Gladys. You better hurry, dear. You'll be late for the office. Gladys. Don't make the octane mistake. Have a nice day at the office, darling. <laughs> you can certainly get rid of. Peggy Briggs, do you know how I got this gent? No, and I don't especially care. <laughs> Cary Grant. <laughs> Cary Grant! Well, just see what happens the next time you try to touch Cary Grant's dent. Gladys. Yes? <laughs> I heard a bell. A bell? What bell? Well, didn't you hear it? No, you're what? You're trying to tell me I'm hearing things. You're trying to tell me you're hearing things. <laughs> you heard it again? <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't worry too much, darling. I'm sure it'll pass. Oh. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, have a nice day. <laughs> Why you're serving Gary breakfast in bed? To ring them charming bells. But don't make a habit of it. He's supposed to be working for us. <laughs> oh, a party. <laughs> don't they look cute? Yeah, especially Gary. See you later. Let's go upstairs. They'll think we're crashing. Gladys, we live here, remember? I know, dear. That's why it's okay for us to go upstairs. To ring them charming bells. Do it right now. Do you know how to rock and roll? Come on, I'll show you. 
you, could you tell me where Gary's room is? I want to trade these for some of his fresh records. Oh, why bother? We have some nice Caruso records down here. Where's Gary's room? Well, come on, I'll show you. Hey! Well, Mrs. Porter, if you're looking for your husband, he went up to get more records in Gary's room. Pete, don't be angry with Gary. I made him promise to keep my secret. But that's why I let him have breakfast in bed and loan him your shirt and let him have a few friends over. What's three? You shouldn't be such a blabbermouth. What do you mean? Full story, Pa. Yeah, it sure was, Pa. Well, thanks, fellas. Was it true? Oh, yeah, sure. I hope you boys got the point of it. Oh, I did, Mom. I don't know about Ricky. Sure I did. What do you think I am, a dope or something? 